guys, it's Chris Haywood here with The Come Up, and today we're talking three workplace trends that you cannot afford to miss out on. So the number one trend that I want you to be careful of is the rise of the generalist. Many of us think in order for us to be successful, we have to be highly specialized in one or two things. But there's a growing group of research that shows that the generalist, meaning the person who is well-versed in a number of disciplines, is very marketable and can be very successful. As opposed to the specialist, the generalist has a little bit of knowledge about many different things. And they know how one group of knowledge interacts with the other. Because they have this general knowledge in multi-subjects, they know how, for instance, sales integrates with the marketing and how marketing integrates with the branding and how branding interacts with the customer service. So that's just an example of how the general knowledge can be integrated to give you a comprehensive view instead of just knowing a specialty in one specific area. <laughs> there was this dude I used to work with and he did like everything. Like he, he put the, the memory in the computer, he made the websites for the business, fixed the printers, he, I mean he did everything. And guess what, I got fired from that job and do you know who still works here? Pfft, he does. It's very important that you know your, your, your field because there are fields that we need specialists. But there are also career fields and disciplines where generalists, people who know a wealth of knowledge about a lot of different things is really, really beneficial. I've linked uh, several articles in this video that can give you uh, some more information on how this may be the time of the generalist. Technology increases capacity. Through technology, you can produce more, you can go at a faster pace. That means it's very, very important that our skills keep up with the technology speed. Programs, technologies that we're in right now will possibly be obsolete in three to four years. There are things and technology emerging right now that will be very, very beneficial to not only learn the technology of today, but also keep a forward eye and know what's going on in the future. Otherwise, you may specialize in some technology that will eventually be extinct. So technology right now has the ability to eliminate single function jobs. Even highly specific things, administrative things, clerical, uh, calculation type things. If you can only do one thing right now, be careful because technology is on its way to take your job. I see these self, self checkout counters. Ah, oh, I hate them. I hate them. But they're the way of the future. Finally, art and authenticity. That means there's abundance of providers services and products but what differentiates them in this day and age isn't necessarily their functional benefits adele does just as much as an apple which does just as much as a lenovo which does just as much as an ap but what people fall in love with is the aesthetics the design and the story behind your product. People want to see you. People want to see your story. People want to see the face behind the logo and they want to know why you exist. Because ultimately, people want to do business with people that they like or they aspire to be. If you're hiding behind the logo or you're hiding behind functional benefits that we have a blah, 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 giga prep, uh, giga preps or I don't know, some some stupid, some things that we don't even understand. No matter if you're working for somebody else or you're working for yourself, it's very, very important to keep in tune with these market trends to make sure that you play a role in the future. I'm Chris Haywood with The Come Up, signing out, peace.